Welcome back to the life of SEMA build owners. This is a 2018 Ford F-250 SEMA build, as you guys have seen. And today we're going to be giving you a little update on what we're doing to it. We're also going to wash it for the first time. And we want you guys to guess how long it's going to take to wash this truck. As you can see, it's got a 20 inch lift on it, so it's pretty extensive. It's going to take a lot of time and a lot of elbow grease to get this thing back to where it needs to be. As you can see, these tires have really been overdue for a long time. Yucky. So, yeah, it's definitely due. Um, we don't, we, this truck's been driven down gravel a couple times lately, unfortunately. So it's all dusty, it needs to be cleaned really bad. So that's what you're gonna see in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, we wanna show you guys where we're at with the inside, kind of what we plan to do to the truck. As of right now, as of right now, we have our headliner out because we're going to put a Starlight headliner in this truck. Very simple, very easy. We wanna mention that Ford did this really good. My favorite part about this headliner is these right here. These are just plates of metal. And on the headliner, it's a magnet. So there's no clips like GM does that break when you pull on them. It's all magnetic, so very convenient. So the, the liner came down really easily. We did have to take out the passenger seat and we slid it out the door. And so we've got a thousand piece uh, starlight that's gonna be going in that. Obviously can't do anything about the middle because it's a panoramic sunroof so just a thousand around the edges so it's gonna be nice yeah um besides that if you want to come back here we have um our subs back here these came with the truck they are two 12 inch subs and they sound really good it's a really nice setup nice custom box um, but as you can see the wiring it's really messy and um, there's amps that are behind the seats that you can't see. It's all kind of jumbled up and really messy. So we're going to be taking that to um, our audio guy and he's going to be uh, working on that custom auto works out of Carthage, Missouri. So he's gonna be working on all the audio in this truck. We're thinking about door speakers and we're thinking um, just getting the subs tuned back in, maybe getting another amp. Whatever he says, that's what we're gonna do. So that's going to be the next thing to do with this truck. Besides that, that's about it for right now. <clears throat> but now we are going to wash this truck and we're going to set a timer and we're going to see how long it takes from this condition, wiping off the lift, getting everything perfectly clean. And we're going to give you guys some clips along the way. So I hope you enjoy it. Well, here we are 12 uh, sorry 20 minutes in and all we've gotten done is we power washed the tires they had years of tire shine and road grime on them so we got that all cleaned up that took a little while we used some uh, tire cleaner on them so that looks pretty good and we basically just rinsed off the body and rinsed off the lift and that's our first 20 minutes 
So next we're going to probably wipe the body down. It wasn't really dirty to begin with as you saw, so we're just going to wipe it down, maybe give it a fresh uh, wax of some sort, and then we'll be able to start working on the lift and getting it all cleaned up. So that's where we're at. this video we're going to show you the end result as you already seen in our walk around so basically what we did to this truck was just wipe it down we didn't use any products or anything besides what we use on the tires which still didn't cut through all of the grime um, but we didn't use anything on the paint we just washed it and wiped it down with a uh, dry microfiber cloth and we did the same thing with the lift too so it cleaned up really well as you can see for an example this was just drying it with a, a wet cloth first and then drying it with a completely dry cloth and it cleaned up really good. Now to clean this vehicle it took us one hour and seven minutes with two guys just wiping it down. So if you were going to go to a show which we are in a couple weeks at LTN in, in Oklahoma we would probably spray it down with the wax and really give it a full detail. We think probably at least double the time that we did if not triple it. So if you own a SEMA truck, it's gonna take about three hours for a good wash, if it's not that dirty to start with. If you got it muddy, it would probably take a lot longer than that, so. But it turned out really well, and uh, so this is, this is it for this video. Well, after a full extensive cleaning, we did find that there's some more wear on the truck. It's a build that was built in 2018, so what do you expect? Here's a little example. <clears throat> this bar, <laughs> I can't remember what it's called, it has some obvious chippage from rolling down the road. So it's going to need a full wrap or a full touch-up paint. Or this. <laughs> you said this was easy. Voila, perfect condition, and that'll hold us for a little while. <laughs> when your truck is nice and clean, is the perfect time to install a little representation, also known as a sticker. What we have here is a mod sticker, and this is the peel. Perfectly placed. Next, we will move on to this one. This is the C and Z's, because this is our YouTube channel name. Please stand by as I peel this back. Now we've come to the placement. You're going to want to do this good, or all of your friends will make fun of you. You don't have any friends. Oh no, it got Ooh. wrinkled. That's a bad application. <laughs> At least it's on video. It'll come back. 
It ain't coming back. Is this your first? No, you just did it again? <laughs> oh! I knew that was gonna happen. I'm too far in. Don't, just don't, we can fix it after you get everything pulled off. Just get the C flat. Honestly, it didn't turn out as bad as I was expecting. It's not great. If it shows up on camera, it's terrible. You can see that big, <laughs> big mark right there. We'll just get a little heat gun action and fix it. But back up now. What do you know? Well, all right. That looks pretty good. Anything else to share? No, that's pretty much it. Time for chicken enchiladas.